Hey everyone, welcome back to Roulette Fever. Today I'm back with another inside bet strategy, and I hope uh, all of you liked the last video. Uh, I really emphasized on the safety on that one, and I'm quite certain that most of you, or I should say all of you, will like this video too. You know, recently I have been giving more and more importance with uh, on inside bet strategies. You know. But I always try to balance things out, uh, so I have made sure to add some outside bet parts in this strategy too, which we are gonna use later on the, in the video if we need to take the progression really deep, you know. So rather than waiting any longer, let's just start with it. We are gonna start with an empty swing at spas, and then I'm gonna explain it to you how we are gonna go about it. Okay, so what we are gonna do here is that. We're gonna chase the last hitting double street, okay? But this is not all about this strategy, and you'll get to understand it as we go along, okay? And we're gonna follow a certain progression if we need to. So let's go. So this was the last hitting double street, but uh, yeah, we can go with it. It's not a problem. So let's see. Okay. So after a loss, while playing with these double streets, we don't need to increase our bet size or we don't need to add any additional bets, okay? So what we are going to do is that we are going to follow the hitting double street, okay? As if following the winner in this case. And we are going to keep our bet size same. Not a problem. We are not going to increase our bet size. We are just following the winning double street, okay? We are going to do it for four, four rounds. Okay. Again, we are going to just follow it with same one dollar. And if we lose this round too, then we are going to do something. Okay. Okay. So we have lost this one too. But when I was trying it out on demo, you won't believe that I hit back to back four, four times, you know, double six. But anyway, this can happen. And I'm glad that I can show it to you. Anyway, so now what we are going to do is that we are going to chase the last hitting winning dozen. Okay. We're going to go with a single dozen. We're going to increase our bid size to $2. Okay. In this case, let's go. Okay. We have a win. So we have uh, gain back the amount we lost as you can see with this progression that's the main aim to get back to at least to the positives or to the to that position where we were before starting the progression okay and now again we're gonna chase the last hitting double street okay we're back to back with one dollar but this strategy has more into its progression okay if we need to take that path i will explain it to you anyway so it's zero so in this case, what we are going to do, we are going to sit out for a round, okay? We need a double street to chase it. That's all. Okay. So now as you can see, the uh, last double street that hit was 10 and then 0 and then 9. So I don't want to go again and bet on the same double street, okay? So in this case, I'm going to sit another round out, you know? I'm just following the philosophy of lightning doesn't strike twice in the same place, you know. Okay, so now we're going to bet here. Remember, we are on the second phase. I mean, on the second step. So let's see. We have a win. Great. So whenever we are going to hit a double street, as you can understand, our winnings are going to increase rapidly. Okay. So what we'll be hoping, we'll be hoping to hit some double streets back to back. But anyway, as you can see, the ball landed on the same double street twice, back to back consecutively. So we are going to sit out, you know, for the round. Let's see if we can get another double street. Then we are going to chase again. Whenever we are going to win, we are going to go back to the base step, okay? Again, we have four chances. Always remember that. So again, we are going to start with $1. And after the dozen, we have some more steps, okay? If we need to take them, I'm going to explain it to you anyway. And always remember in which step of the progression you are in, okay? It's not like you will have to take the regression always, you know? But it's better to remember, you know? Okay, we have another win. Great. 
so as you can see we're up by eight always remember that okay your all time session high that's gonna be helpful too so in this case as you can see whenever we are gonna hit a double street it's gonna be back to back same double street isn't it so we'll have to sit out we i'm just not expecting the same double street to hit thrice you know so yeah now we're gonna place again one dollar bit and whenever we are gonna win again we have four chances you know with double streets and with the same one dollar so with a strategy like this we are not increasing our bet size you know because always remember we can lose maximum the amount we are betting not more than that remember we were up by eight okay it's going back and forth <laughs> see i think we have a win we do great we are up by 11 let's see we are gonna sit out for a round again i'm just hoping to hit back to back double streets you know for a few rounds that's gonna help us big time and as i said that even after uh going with the dozens you know with single dozens we have some more steps into the progression because while you go if you decide to go online with it no you may need it you mean you need to know when to stop and you need to know all of the steps so that you don't feel confused after a certain time or certain phase you know so i would suggest you to hang around okay most of you know or i should say all of you know who watch my videos that i don't just increase the length of the video for gaining more minutes you know i want to help all of you to get a better understanding of each and every strategy and that's why i go in depth with it with each and every one of my videos i think we were on the third step or second step i think we were on the third step i think so because uh one two three four yes now this is going to be the fourth step i think yeah and after this we are going to increase so you were up by 11 so i need to remember that as i was talking to you i forgot you know suddenly but you guys always need to keep that in your mind so as you can see after the win we are back to a new session high so again we can go back to the base step of one dollar but in this case we need to sit out as we have been doing after hitting a double street because we are not expecting it to hit back to back thrice you know but it did here <laughs> anyway that's fine but again i'm gonna sit out I'm gonna just follow the process you know I'm not gonna go with the exceptions okay sometimes I know my videos become really lengthy you know but my main intention is to make sure that you get to understand each and every portion of the strategy you know so that you don't feel confused while playing with it because I want all of you to be successful in a game like this where it's already rigged against us where the stakes, stakes and odds are already against us. Okay. This is the third step. Always remember that in which step you are in, you know. Now this is going to be the fourth step. If we lose this one, then we are going to go to the dozens with the single dozen. Let's see what happens. Okay, we were up by 13. Remember that. So in this case, it's 10. So we are going to go with $2 on the first dozen. Okay, it's a loss. Now we are going to go with $3 on the third dozen. Okay, we are following the winning dozen here. Okay. And now we are going to go to the second dozen, but this time with $5. Okay because our aim is to get back to the at least at par with the previous session high you know i think we have a win we do and as you can see we're back to 14 we were up by 13 or 14 i forgot maybe 13 or 14 okay. but anyway our aim is to get back to the previous session at least at par with it if i have missed a step or i have uh, played one more double street you know just uh, apologize for it because i was talking to all of you maybe i don't remember okay but this was the uh, uh, step but I, we still have more progression after this okay so hang around this is not the end of it okay so 24 it was 
you need to know what you need to do if we if we if you face losses while playing with the dozens too you know so just hang around i'm going to explain it to you anyway but what i am hoping here is that i can show it to you you know in practical what you need to do otherwise i would have just stopped the video right here because we are going to use other outside bets too if we need to you know and with some certain progressions i don't just increase the length of the video without any purpose you know okay this is the third step so now we are going to the fourth step let's see if we can get a win or not we were up by 14 remember that okay now we are going to the dozens we're going to go with two dollars on the second dozen we are chasing the winning dozen now from the double street we have we, are, we have shifted to the dozens we have a win great great so as you can see we are at par one second with the previous session high this time uh, 20 so we will be back to the double streets what we'll be hoping is that we can hit some back-to-back -back double streets you know but this time it's not happening what makes this strategy really safe and uh, you know really effective is the fact that it has many stages and you are not stuck to a certain kind of a bet you know you are continuously shifting if something is not working for you hence it's really effective because it's diverse you know so we are back to the fourth step now now we are going to shift to the dozens if we need to hit this one okay we're going to go to the two dollars mark now and you have four chances before you increase your bed size okay you need to remember that too okay we are going to go to the third dozen with three dollars great now we are going to go to the five dollar mark with the second dozens okay so now this is what i was wanting to show all of you okay so now you can see that we are back to zero and we were up by 14 you need to remember that now we are going to go to the colors okay but we will be back to the dozens if we fail in colors too okay so our target is to get back to 14 first of all but we are not going to go ahead and bet with 14 okay we are going to go and bet with seven because our last bet was with five dollars okay we are going to chase the winner here but as you can see the last four rounds it's been terrible doubles but we are going to follow the winner okay we're going to follow the winner obviously so okay so we are going to go with seven dollars okay let's see if we can get a winner or not we don't okay not a problem so always check your session stats okay we are down by seven and we were up by 14 remember that always remember that okay so basically we are down by minus 21 okay so now you are gonna shift we are gonna go to red okay but we are gonna go from seven to we are gonna go to ten dollars okay we're gonna go to ten dollars we are trying to catch up as much as possible without risking much you know that's the aim but let's see if we lose this one i'm going to tell you what to do and there will be limitations too where we are going to stop okay here we have lost and now we're going to check the station stats we are down by minus 17. now in total we need to calculate where we were and where we are at the moment okay so we are in total down by minus 31 okay so in this time we are going to go with double dozens okay two dozens the last two hitting dozens okay we're down by minus 31 we're gonna go with 15 on each dozen okay in this case the first and the second dozen okay and we're gonna go twice with the double dozens if it doesn't hit we are gonna stop it but not before that okay we're gonna go with 15 as i said we have a win great we're still down by minus two so again we are going to follow the same formula the last two hitting dozens and we are going to go with 15 once again now this is the last resort you know last resort that's all if we 
if you fail to hit double dozens twice you know back to back the ball lands on the other dozen you know the remaining dozen just call it off this is not your day you know that's our stop loss remember that we're back close to the all-time session i we're back to 13 okay so now again we can go back to the single double street okay 19 it is so i hope all of you have understood the entire progression you know I wanted to get to 20 but anyway I'm gonna play but I'm gonna I have made given you the entire progression now so those of you want to just skip ahead or in the video you can do that but I want to summarize the entire progression anyway if you haven't understood it although I've given you the demonstration we have a win great we're up to 17 let's see if we can get to 20 I'm gonna sit out for an hour round see. so what we are doing here is that we are Chasing the last hitting double straight. Okay. Again, I'm gonna sit out with back to back twice. Great. So we are chasing the last hitting double straight here for the for four rounds without increasing our bet size. Okay. Without adding any additional bets. Okay. If we fail to hit the double straight for four rounds, what we are doing that in that case we are increasing our uh, unit size by one unit. We are going with two dollars with the last hitting dozen. Okay. Single dozen. Okay, first with two dollars, then with three dollars, and then with five dollars. Okay, for three down. Then we are shifting to colors. Okay, with seven dollars, and then with ten dollars for two rounds. Okay, and in this case, it's about twenty nine. And after that, we are gonna go to double dozens for two rounds. Okay, for two rounds with fifteen dollars. Remember that. Now, while playing with the two dozens, first round can be with 15 and the second round can be with $20 on both both dozens. But I would suggest you to keep your bet size to $15, okay? Don't increase it to 20. Uh, if you hit, if you win the first double dozen, okay? If you hit the, if you win the first round, that's great. Go for the second. If you lose the second round, then go for another round, okay? And if you lose that one too, then call it off. That means that you have two chances with the double dozens, okay? If you, if you lose two rounds, call it off, okay? That's the max we are going to go. Okay, so now we, are, we have another chance. So 18 days, okay? Again, if we lose this one, we are going to go to the dozens. If you have any confusions, write to me, okay? I've tried to give you, give you the demonstrations as much as possible. So now we are going to go to the dozens with the last hitting dozen with $2. I uh, many of you may say that well after a win we are not getting back to another new session high all, every time you know as I said I give more importance to the safety and after that I think about flourishing I'm trying to protect the bankroll at the same time you know great I think I'd be able to give you the demonstration once again the way it's been going let's see if we need to Go to the extreme once again or not okay now we are going with seven dollars with the red i know it's been choppy for the last four or five rounds but yeah we are going to follow the winner we are going to stick to our process with seven dollars when you are following a system you gotta be stubborn you know you can win you can lose i know that can happen but you gotta be stubborn that's all. I'm gonna go with ten dollars on the black. Let's see what happens. Then we are gonna ship to the double dozens. We were up to seventeen. Remember that. Okay, we lose again. So now we are gonna go to the double dozens. Okay, the last two hitting double dozen with fifteen. Now we can see the demonstration once again by your own. Let's see if we can win this one. Last time we own it from here on. We win great but we are going to remain on this 15 dollar mark with the same two dozens because we want to get back to at least close to our previous session high you know so this is what i was talking about if you lose twice while playing with two dozens just call it off okay it can be one after another or it can be one win 
and after that you lose two so then call it off okay so we are back to 16 not to 17 but it's fine we can go back to the double street you know we have managed to minimize our risk now we can go back to our usual process sorry with one dollar only I know we haven't gotten to a new session high, but it's fine. We were down deep into the negatives, you know. My main aim is to get away with some winnings, whatever it is, it's fine. I've done all of those mistakes, you know, while playing live. I've thought about, well, I've gotten to 90, let me get to 100 and then I'm going to call it off. And then you know what happens? I got to negatives. So I don't play those kind of games if i'm getting back to positives i'm fine with it okay let's see if we can get to 20. it's been giving us it's been giving us some trouble lately oh not this one this one yeah okay again we'll have to go to the dozens Great. So first we are going with the double streets, then we are going with single dozens. Okay, it's a win. Great. But back to 16, and now again we are going to follow the last hitting double street. Sooner or later we are going to hit the double street, you know. It's fine. As long as we are sticking to the game plan, we are sticking to our strategy. And we are saving our bankroll. It's going to be fine. Okay. But what if we don't have the money to bet anymore by going ballistic with some, you know, some rounds? That's why you need to have money. And for that, you need to take a safer approach. Okay. Greater win. Oh, not 20. We're up to 19. So I'm going to sit out for a round. Let's see if I can get to 20, man. Come on. I know I could easily call it off, you know. As I said that... Uh, I'm not stubborn about my target, but as I said, I'm going to go to 20, so I'm trying it out. Let's see what happens. Otherwise, this progression is so deep, you know. I have trust in it. Let's see what happens. Okay, no luck till now. One more hit is required. Come on now. We will again go to the dozens with two dollars. While playing with the double dozens, you can always increase your bet size from 10 to 15 and then from 15 to 20. It will be completely up to you, you know. But I have decided to keep them as I've shown you, just like that, to minimize our risks. That's all. Now we will go with five dollars on the second dozen. Let's see. I didn't call it off when I was in at nineteen, so it's gonna is it gonna strike me back? Oh, let's see. Yep, had back to back four black numbers. Uh, you never know when I'm gonna go with black, then it's gonna be red. You know that's what happens with many of us. We all have encountered that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that, that's what I said. <laughs> now we are going to go with 10. The red. Let's see what happens now. Okay, it's fine. Now, as you can see, after winning on red, you know, we are not close to the all-time previous session high, you know. So this is another step that I would ask you to take according to your risk appetite, you know. If you feel like you you want to get back to your previous session high, you know, 
you just need to do one thing i'm gonna ask you to do but in that case your limitations will come closer to you just go with double dozen okay just go with double dozen i'm gonna give you an example okay just go with ten dollars on both dozens or with five dollars because you want to get back to a previous session i i would ask you to go with ten dollars with the last two hitting dozen okay like just like this i wouldn't have taken this path but many of you uh, say that you want to get back to a previous session high as soon as you go in your follow or complete a progression you know so that's how we need to take it but again as i was talking about limitations if you lose twice while paying with double dozens just call it off and consider it as your stop loss okay that by 18 and i'm not gonna drag this video any longer you know after this you should go back to the double street okay so this was the video guys i hope all of you have understood it properly i wasn't playing with real money so it's not mandatory for me to reach a certain target this video has already gotten really long you know i don't want to drag it any longer and if you have any confusions write me in the comment sections i'm gonna answer it to you and if you want to make any further modifications which this strategy may require i don't know if you have any better suggestions you can tell me okay i'm gonna make the modifications or i'm gonna discuss it with you okay guys thanks for supporting keep on watching i'm gonna see you in the next video